Hi, my name is Lori Nelson, and I'm Director of Compliance and Risk Management at Salem Community Hospital in Salem, Ohio. I'm here to discuss how we've been able to reduce our readmissions. In 2010, we pulled together a group of our nursing home facilities and our home health agencies to begin looking at the issue. We meet quarterly, and we have since expanded that group to include our field representative from our congressional office, but also members from our quality improvement organization and our area agency on aging. As part of that group, we quickly identified an issue regarding communication, both verbally and in writing. We've since revised our transfer form to improve that communication, and also all agencies have utilized this SBAR tool to improve verbal communication. We provide feedback, both external and internal, so that agencies understand where their readmissions are coming from and begin to analyze what processes we can improve to avoid that from occurring. Finally, our focus is on engagement, not only engagement with our um, health care providers, but also engagement of our patients, their family, and their caregivers. We've come to realize that without their accountability and without their input, the success of readmissions fails. We are happy to say that we have a pilot program going on with our area agency on aging to begin coaching patients within the home to improve their accountability of care. Our future direction is looking at our case management process and focusing more on the discharge of the patient. Knowing that our length of stay has be decreased, we need to focus on both education of their disease and medications, but also to early on identify resources that they will need to prevent those readmissions.